traders Mike from MS100 here with you I'm getting a video out earlier today because I'm uh, actually finished up with some of the consulting work I'm doing selling EMR systems electronic medical records so pretty interesting being in the healthcare industry along with the financial at the same time so let's get to the video today um, sort of an indecision day that we had in the markets um, I have the SPY chart up right now the um, the S&P chart looks a little different than the SPY. We have a doji on the S&P chart, which shows some indecision. And right here, we actually have on the SPY today, we formed an upside down hammer. And right now, it's uh, four, around 410, and we had the Qualcomm earnings come out, and the SPY did sell off a little bit. So today, we had the Dow down 34. The NASDAQ was up 10. The S&P was pretty much flat, and the VIX was down 0.4, which is almost 2%. Um, looking at the SPY chart, we still got our levels in here from yesterday. We got the high of the current move up around six on six and eleven here that we're looking at to uh, hold possible resistance at a double top area here. Notice we went up today and we did form a, a new high and we didn't form a new low yet. So we could still have the possibility of a double top forming in the market here where we do push up still a little bit more over this pink trend line I have in here. We actually end up coming back down and forming the double top. So I still am looking at that. I still do have um, a small short out on the market. I'm taking a look at what's happening there. Today's volume, not as good as yesterday's, but still more volume than the past days before that. Um, looking at the Stochastics and the MACD, they do start looking like they are starting to about to roll over a little bit as you can see here the RSI down here is starting to roll over just a tad um, still looking at possible 930 on a downside and not really looking at too many levels on the upside maybe somewhere around 98 on the upside of the SPY if we do break above higher um, I definitely think we do need to consolidate here a little bit at this 950 960 area to get a further push up just because we moved along so much so I'll be watching for something like that to happen um, still watching the 93 level on the markets yet again I do like the indecision that is happening in the markets telling me that we might get some kind of top or rollover effect starting to happen pretty soon um, I'm just gonna go into some trades I took today so let's take a look at the charts and see what's going on with them all right, here is LSTR, Landstar Systems, their trucking company. What I was watching here is I was watching this falling wedge pattern that I had drawn in last night here on the chart, and I am actually looked for a break above it, and we did get a break above it. I do like right here on the Stochastics, we have a little divergence here on the Stochastics. Stochastics are moving up. The MACD histogram here is moving up, and we're also getting a nice turn up here in the RSI. So that's showing me we're going to probably move a little higher. I'm actually looking at the first target here at uh, 36 here on Landstar. Um, the other trade that I did take is ILMN, and I'll bring that up for you right now. All right, here is ILMN. Um, taking a look at the chart, what I did like about this is... I did like the R rising RSI here, especially with the gap up today on the earnings call. I like the rising MACD histogram, and I did like the way the stochastics were starting to turn up here, and I did like the volume on the chart. Now looking at this chart right here, I'm actually looking for maybe an island bottom reversal where we actually had a gap down, we traded it down here in this range for a little bit, and then we gap up and we just run away from that, create a little island in this chart pattern. And if we can get above this, uh, 50 period moving average here which is in orange I'm expecting and looking for after 36 I'm looking for somewhere around the 38 level for that gap window to hit before that we hit some consolidation here um, definitely liking the, the scientific and the drug sectors and that's about it alright traders I'll talk to you later have a good one Mike from ms100.com come check us out I'll post the chart of the day for tomorrow and that is about it. Um, other than that, good luck trading tomorrow, traders.